And there he is, free at last. This is the moose officials believe has been roaming around the mountains near Santa Fe for maybe more than a year at this point. So the moose has been lovingly named Marty, and Ryan spoke with Game and Fish reps uh, about why Marty had to go. His, his time of welcome was gone. And is this really the end of our, our moose saga in Santa Fe? We'll see. Marty was getting a little bold, you mm -hmm. see. And Game and Fish said it was best in Marty's interest and the people near Marty that he me moved off somewhere else where he might be more likely to find other moose. I don't know that I can uh, repeat my initial <laughs> reaction. Marty the moose once again captured the attention of Santa Fe. To have one right in the thick of an urban area um, is, is so rare. Darren Vaughn says game and fish officials cornered Marty just outside of Fort Marcy Park and moved in. This just days after he reappeared in Tasuke. See, Marty has a fan club. In the Facebook group, Where's Marty Moose? It shows someone drew a cartoon showing Marty's to-do list was to walk down to Tasuke and wind up all over Facebook. And Marty's been around. Officials say this is the same moose that trotted up Hyde Park Road on the way to Ski Santa Fe this winter. Sadly, Marty had worn out his welcome. And it was also showing little or no fear of humans or pets or anything like that. Citing safety concerns, Game and Fish decided to relocate Marty. You can see some guys distracting Marty while onlookers filmed their rare visitor. Then Marty was shot with a tranquilizer dart. A couple minutes later, he was down for a nap. They had a vet check him out. Marty is a healthy four to five year old weighing in at over 900 pounds, but officials wouldn't rule out future moose sightings. I, I would say you, you never know. Game and Fish officials say this moose filmed last year is not the same one that was put in a trailer today, but the first moose we actually have not heard any further reports of. Um, since last fall. Marty looked happy to be released in far northern New Mexico, where he has a better chance to run into more moose. If it does make its way back across the state line, uh, it'll be uh, you know, back with a, with a good sized moose herd. So this might very well be the end of the story for New Mexico's southernmost moose ever. Game and Fish officials want to remind people, mm -hmm. keep their distance from wildlife like this. It's best for everybody. A yeah. reminder too, Absolutely no moose hunting in New Mexico. None at all. You know, Marty brought so much joy to so many people, hoping he finds happiness up there mm -hmm. in northern New Mexico.